welcome to this edition of Meet the Interns. As many of you are well aware, we have three fabulous interns that have joined us on staff here at the Community Church. We have Kate, that is sitting right here with us, and we also have Jefferson and Toby, who are lurking somewhere behind the scenes, probably doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing. Um, what we thought would be great is to get these guys in a chair and ask them a bunch of random questions so that you guys can get to know them a little bit better. So without further ado, let us begin. I feel like you should be intense music, but it's not intense, it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Kate, what is your full name? My full name is Kate Emily Pyatt. Kate Emily Pyatt. Not Katie, not just Katie. Kate. Just Kate. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you come from? I'm from Staffordshire, uh, specifically a town called Cheadle. Um, probably nobody's ever heard of it. Born and raised? Yes! Born and raised. Born and raised. Uh, what have you been studying at university? I have been studying English language. Great. So anyone that needs help with grammar? Grammar, yeah. Ooh, all the boring it. ABC stuff. Great. Great. <laughs> why are you in terms of friends? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell us a joke. Um, why would a donut make a good priest? Because he's very holy. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Uh, what's your favourite movie that you're pretty sure is nobody else's favourite movie? Uh, Book Thief. It's set in Nazi Germany. I like a lot of films that are set in the war but not about the war, apparently. Somebody told me that before. It's a good analogy of the sort of I thought you were going to say it about Nazis then. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Maybe we should do that again. <laughs> what, apart from uh, English language, are you passionate about? Uh, I'm passionate about helping people. Sounds a bit cheesy, but I like volunteering. I used to do a lot of volunteering when I was in school in sixth form. Um, anything like girl guiding or youth clubs, um, I also like to get involved with and just making people laugh by being stupid. <laughs> Excellent. Um, what character trait or quirk most defines your image of yourself? Oh, just being like a clumsy mess. Um, just sort of anything, try and help to make things worse. Um, I get roasted every day in the house, multiple times for something I've done, it's just how I am, just a mess. Right, yeah. okay. Sell myself. I don't <laughs> think you're a mess, Kate, I think you're great. Uh, describe your most frightful recurring dream. Uh, I don't think I have a reoccurring one. Uh, I do remember a dream I had when I was probably about seven, uh, where I got eaten by a witch. <sighs> the cannibalistic witch, that is. Yeah, pretty frightful, that's for sure. Um, what fills you more than anything with rage and what do you do with that? Uh, I think uh, when you want to help someone but you can't, uh, when you can see something happening or you, if you know something that they don't know and you can't do anything about it, it's so annoying. Um, I was saying the other day before I was a Christian, I'm not really sure, I can't remember how I dealt with things like this or if I was worried, I can't remember what I actually did, probably just cried about it to Jeff or Toby or Frank. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so praying definitely now. Can't remember. Can't remember what my life was like before. <laughs> it wasn't even a year ago. But. What are you most terrible at? Uh, everything. <laughs> Technology. Technology. <laughs> yeah. Uh, always just go straight to table when I have uh, something. Technological <laughs> Technology. issue. Yeah. Uh, and maths as well. I hate maths. Technology and maths. Yeah. Um, it's a good job we have a few maths teachers. Yes. <laughs> uh, if you had £500, what would you do with it? Uh, I think... I don't really know. I do something that the four of us, like me and my housemates, could do together, I think. I don't really know what it'd be, but I like when we do things together, so... <laughs> nice. Maybe go somewhere or get something for the house. So that will benefit Very more than just me. <laughs> I hope they would share the same um, you're on death row, uh, and you have a final three-course meal. What do you have? Uh, starter, probably something to do with cheese. Maybe like cheesy bread or some description. Mm -hmm. Love cheese. Um, main course probably something to do with barbecue chicken. Maybe like a pizza or something that has that sort of flavour. Mm -hmm. Love that. And then chocolate brownie with ice cream. Mm -hmm. I've had that for all three courses, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could have said that. That's yeah. a good option. Yeah. <laughs> Great. And um, finally, what can people be praying for you in the coming weeks and months if you uh, settle down? Yeah. 
Uh, I think just to uh, rely on God for everything uh, because my confidence is better when it's not my own. <laughs> um, yeah, just that I can settle in well and do things well because my perception of my abilities is not <laughs> the same as anybody else's. I just think I'm useless at everything. So I need to get more self belief that I'll actually be able to do this internship well, I guess. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. I'll laugh it off for now. <laughs> well, we're thrilled that you are with us. Thank and, you. Uh, thanks for taking the time to talk with us. Um, so we'll see you later.